Hey everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and I am coming live today to show you one of my all-time most favorite, easiest, super most affordable, if that's a word, um, craft projects that I've done on DIY Dreaming. We did it last year. I made a ton of them for my Christmas tree and I'm going to show you everything about them again today. And they are uh, vintage sheet music, vintage um, dictionary pages, book pages, craft paper, scrapbook paper, uh, wrapping paper, tassels. And we're going to be making ours with either champagne corks or wine corks or these little sticks that you can get from the Dollar Tree. So it's super fun. You guys, this is such an easy project. And um, we did them last year. And then I did a, a, a summer variation of them, these ones. And um, I've had lots of requests to do them again. So I'm going to show you all these ones here. And then we'll talk about every single aspect of it. As you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have any questions. If you make these or did make these, Gosh, I would love it right here in these comments if you would share pictures uh, of the of your your music or book page tassels. Okay, so let's see where to start. Well, this was the original. These were the original ones that I made, and I made a whole bunch of different. Um, I covered the um, champagne cork with this thin burlap that I got at Target last year. This is all I have left of it. And then I put a little band of this ribbon around it. These were the ones I made last year at Christmas time. I made it just to, I put different kinds of ribbon around them. I made maybe 20. I'm still looking for them for, to decorate my Christmas tree. But these took absolutely no time. There's something you can do while you're watching TV. And if you have access to some vintage sheet music or even new sheet music, trumpet music, xylophone music, whatever it might be. Or if you have a, any of these old dictionaries, which this is something my mamu, my grandmother gave me because she knew I loved books and they were just collecting dust. So I have done a ton of projects with this or regular books, or like I said before, craft, uh, craft paper, scrapbook paper, wrapping paper. Then you can make this in a cinch. Okay, so let's start at the very beginning. Let's see, where would that be? Let's start by talking about um, how you're gonna get your music um, and how you're gonna cut it out. Okay, so all of the music that I have ever found has been at my local Goodwill for just a couple of dollars. Last year I scored and I got this whole collection of different, what did they call it? Um, different piano composer maestros or something like that. There were like six books like this. I was like, and it was only two or three dollars. So look at your local thrift stores for sheet music. If you had a student that uh, was in the band, you can use that. If you had a, a piano, um, a child that took piano lessons, you can use that. I mean, you can use absolutely whatever kind of music you want if that's what you're gonna do. Um, so. I'm gonna show you a couple what nots to do also. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your music out of the book. And for me, the easiest thing to do is just to use my X-Acto knife and just don't cut your fingers. And I'm gonna cut a couple of these because I wanna show you how you can do um, multiple pieces all at the same time. Okay, so I have, let's see, I have four pages right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it all going the same direction. And I'm going to trim around the blank spaces because those don't look great on your tassels. So I'm just gonna trim off a little bit here at the bottom. 
and then along the side then along the top there can be a little bit of empty space and then right here throw all this away and then what we're going to do most most music is roughly the same size I believe so then all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of fold it and have to figure out where my half would be and this seems like it's going to be too long I'm not sure. no it isn't okay so I'm going to then just cut around cut along basically where the half point was they don't have to be exactly straight And then I'm going to make sure they're all going the same direction. So the easiest way to do that is just to look for this symbol right here, right there, and make sure that's upright. Okay, now I have eight pieces of paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut long strips. We'll do this part quickly because I know this is boring. And then I'll show you a perfect example of what not to use as your last piece and what to use as your first piece. You can cut these as fat or as skinny as you like. I have found that I like them better when they're more narrow, like this, which I'll show you in just a second. So I'm cutting, I'm doing this all at once. I'm cutting through eight pieces of paper. Don't cut them one at a time or else you won't ever want to make these again. I'm just joking, but no, I'm serious. Because what you're going to do is you're going to sit down in front of the TV or whenever would be a, a good time for you. And you're just going to cut out a ton of these. You can see how quick this is taken. It's not long at all. Your paper is going to kind of want to twist. And so that's why I keep straightening it out. We're almost there. These look cute also just hanging from like a, a cabinet drawer, um, a pole or, I mean, there's some, you can put them on top of packages. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's not all exactly the same length. Uh, you would do the exact same thing if you were using a book, all right? And um, you are going to want to pick the very last piece to be a pretty one because it's what you're going to see on the outside of your tassel. So, for example, this would probably not be a good last piece to go around that way, but if you put it on this way, it'd be perfect. Or this one. This would not be a great last piece because who wants to look at this creepy crab right here? But if you put it on this way, it would be just fine. So let's take, okay, there's three things that you can wrap it around. You can wrap it around um, one of these champagne corks, which I just keep getting lucky and I keep finding these at craft stores and thrift stores because um, we don't tend to drink a lot of champagne around here. <laughs> I don't know if, if many people do. Maybe your local um, uh, bar or restaurant might save these and you could ask for them. You could also buy them in craft stores or you could use a wine cork and it could be one of these um, actual real cork or it could be one of these, I don't know what they are, plastic. Or like I said before, you could use, these are from Dollar Tree, you could use one of these sticks. And I'm gonna show you there's two ways to put the hanger on them also. So let's start with the champagne corks because what I like about them is the shape. So we're gonna start gluing right here. And we're just gonna use this paper, that this music that I've cut, but I'm looking for a pretty piece to go on last. And I think this is going to be it. This is perfect. So I'll set that aside. Okay. 
So I am using my Cool Shot Sure Bonder glue gun that looks like it's had much better days. It's a low temperature glue gun. Um, one thing I know for sure is that you do not want to use a high temperature hot glue gun for this project because you're going to be putting your hands on it and hot glue, hot temperature hot glue is really hot and you can really uh, burn yourself. So please don't do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna start, we're gonna glue from this lump down. Do you guys see what I'm talking about, the lump? And I'm just gonna start by putting some glue like in one little section. And then I'll put on my first piece of paper. All right, and I haven't made these in a while. Let me try to remember. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to keep running some glue along this part of our sheet music or book page that um, is going to be at the top. And, ooh, am I using two pages? No. And then you're going to squeeze it in so it's going to have some little buckles. And you want to kind of keep pulling it straight so it will... So it will lay straight. So once you get it, the glue on, then you're just going to squeeze around it and get that stuck in there really good. That was two pieces of paper. Okay, so that's the first round. Let's do another one. And I'm always looking to see what is the prettier side. And when I start gluing on another piece, I usually start gluing right over the spot where the last one was. Okay, so I just put that on and I'm gonna pinch it in. There's no um, set amount of pieces of paper that you need to put on your tassels, but I like them to be pretty full, and this is not very full at all. This is fuller. So I would continue adding more pieces. So where is that seam? I'll start there. Let me look at my... So let's see, why don't you roll the piece over the hot glued part? I am rolling it, but you also have to squeeze it because it's not completely straight. See, I'm rolling it and then I'm gonna pinch it in. And then I'm gonna put some more hot glue on and roll it. And then pinch it in. You want it to continue to go straight across where that lump is. And it has a tendency to want to kind of go down. Okay, and this is what it would look like if you didn't pinch it in. Do you see this lump right here? So while the glue's still warm, I'm just squeezing it in. Okay, and let's do one more layer on here. And then we'll do our pretty piece decide which piece I like better. Okay, the reason why I like this one and I would end with this right here is because it has all of this music note on it. So, um, you know, this is good. Let's just do this last piece. There is my seam. Here it is. over the hot glue and then I'm pinching it in and you can see right here it's starting to to go down that's why I keep pulling it up and pinching it I hope that makes sense gosh there's a lot of you guys on this is such a great craft oh my gosh and once you've done one of these if I wasn't talking to you I could have whipped out three of them already 
Um, once you've done a few of these, you're gonna just be able to whip through them. And um, they are great for the tree. They're great package top toppers. They're just different. Um, okay, so this is what we get. And this was the end. That This was the piece that I wanted to have showing last. Did you guys see that? Okay, so then the next thing you can do. Oh, I forgot to get my twine. Hang on two seconds. Okay, so then you can choose to cover up all of this or just the bottom part right here and leave the cork over the top. It's exactly the same process when you use just a regular cork, exactly. You can start rolling so that your music is clear up here. Clear up here at the very top, or if you prefer, you can start rolling midway down like this. But it's exactly the same, and it's exactly the same with a stick. You do want to try not to use the ones that have the little limbs poking out of them. <laughs> but, and I've heard people say that they didn't put anything at all inside of theirs. But the reason why I like to have something inside is because we're going to use these little eye hooks right here. That's one of the ways that um, you can put your twine on them to hang them on your tree or hang them on a package or whatever you want. And um, if you don't have anything inside of them, then you can't use one of these little teeny eye hooks. Put my X-Acto knife cover on. These things make me so nervous. Okay, so... The two different ways that you can do it, like I said, is you could just hot glue a loop like this onto your sides. We'll do that with this one because this I don't do that very often. I usually use the eye hooks. You just want to decide how long you want it to be. And then you're just going to put a little band of glue here. And I do have a piece of um, wrapping paper that we'll fiddle with in just a second too. Okay, so I just glued that on there. And then I would just glue this on the opposite side. Nothing fancy about that. Oops, I didn't glue that very <laughs> evenly. Oh well. We'll pretend that that's pretty even. So it could hang like that, or like I said, you could use an eye hook in the top. Okay, so then the next thing is, um, what do you want to do around it to decorate it? And oh my gosh, there's so many options. You could use one of these fabulous, uh, like lacy kind of things. Um, this came from Hobby Lobby. I got it when ribbon was 40% off and it was, it's 15 feet and it was, less than five dollars so I could use that or this is um, some pretty uh, it's like a canvas with fringed sides um, ribbony kind of thing I cannot remember where I got that it's spritz brand or these this came from Dollar Tree and this is just like a burlap that has polka dots on it I could use that or I could use this stuff which is the stuff I used on almost all of mine that came from Target last year. And I know somebody's gonna ask me how wide is that? So let's just measure it and I'll tell you. It is like one and three quarter inches wide. So I could use something like that, but I wanna do something bright, just for fun, just to see what it would look like. So how about, I have these two options out and how about we try this red? Okay, I haven't opened this up yet. So I'm just going to cut roughly what I think is going to be long enough. I can trim it shorter. And in this instance, I would start gluing right here. You guys see what I mean? 
But if you wanted, you could certainly glue it all the way up to the top. That would be cute too. I'll show you. And then you could put a band of, do I have any black and white ribbon out? A band of something like this around it too. So, um, but this, this is brighter. If you have a bright colored Christmas tree, this would be really cute. So let's do that. And all I want to do is make sure that it's high enough up that it covers that edge. And then I'm just going to put a little bit along the two edges. So what do you guys think? How do you sprinkle? That's a great question. Sprinkling is really just a Facebook word. I don't know why they use that. That means that you take this video that you're watching and when it's done, you, um, you put it on your own personal Facebook page uh, so that your friends and family can see my video. Um, especially if you like the crafts and you have friends that you think would, you know, like to know how to do some of this stuff. That's the whole point of it. Okay, so now I'm gonna just cut this and we'll finish it off. So what do you guys think about that? Then we could take this if we wanted, or really anything else, and do a little band around the tummy. Let's do that. That's more my style. Honestly, the, the creamy lace or the burlap would be just more my style, but because um, you guys know me, I'm completely boring. <laughs> You don't need a ton of glue for this because this is not really going to get handled too much. I need some new scissors. So what do you guys think about this project? Do you like it so far? I have more to show you, so don't hop off just yet. Then if you wanted to really dress it up, you could put some buttons on the band that goes around the belly, like I did on this one, or some bling, or instead of ribbon, you could have done some lace. Um, you could use a colored burlap to go around it. And here's one that just has lace that goes all the way up to the top. And this one I made, actually, I can tell by looking at it, just with a wine cork. So, super easy. If you have the books or music and some corks or some wood pieces, a little ribbon, it does not cost anything, hardly at all, to make it. So, um, let's try <clears throat> using some of this wrapping paper. And all I did was I just took my long tube of this black and white wrapping paper. I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna work because I have never done this before. And I cut a long piece and then I folded it so that I could sort of cut the edges straight. And because I'm lazy and I don't wanna cut those little snips all the way around. So we're gonna have this be the top and this be the bottom and we're just gonna start cutting snips. We'll do this one on a wine cork so you can see that it's basically the same thing. I'm not sure honestly how the inside of this paper will look, but we're going to see. We'll find out together. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. So, let me get another glue stick. It's not quite ready for it. And let's get a, a wine cork, okay? And I'm just gonna open up my paper. And I'm going to lay my wine cork on here. I'm gonna have it go all the way up to the top. All right, and that's how you get it started. And then all you do, I like to roll away from me, I guess. That feels most comfortable to me. So I'm just gonna put some glue on my wrapping paper and then roll and then squeeze, scrunch it in a little bit. This is that wrapping paper that has the um, little blue and white lines inside of it so that you can cut it straight. So that was the only thing I wasn't sure how that would look. And also I didn't know with this wrapping paper how much you would need to have. Ooh, I have some good crafts coming up, you guys. Um, let me pause this project for one moment to tell you about what we're gonna do tomorrow. Do you guys remember when we made these hot glue uh, gilded cross canvases? And then, not too long ago, we made these hot glue gilded little Dollar Tree cross wood things. Well, we're going to do something very similar using these little wood slices. We're making ornaments. I painted just some creamy color to cover the wood part. And I'll give you a quick sneak peek. But I want you to join me. We'll do this either tomorrow or the next day. Look. So that's something that I have coming up. Um, oh my gosh, I have a ton coming up. And while I'm looking around for a second, I want to show you a couple of the other things that I did last year that I'm trying to decide if we should repeat or not. This was one thing that I made last year, which the, it's been in a box and so it's all crumpled, but these were folded sheet music trees that we put on shish kebab skewers and then they're on just these little wood slices that I put some uh, glitter on and then I made a little star for the top so we might do this again tell me in the comments if you want to do the folded trees and um another thing i made last year that i may possibly do again this year but i'll do it different this year is a tree chopper out of book pages this was mine from last year this is how i attached it to the top of my tree it was one dimensional it looks like a peacock feather and it has a little bit of just twine right there and then it has glitter on the edges so we might do a also a um, a some sort of book page or sheet music tree topper. Yes, folded trees. Dixie says she loves both. So, anyways, I have so many things coming up. Lots more gift ideas. Um, lots more Christmas decorating stuff. Um, lots more faith things. Just lots of good stuff coming up. And if you haven't already liked and followed DIY Dreaming and you want to know when I do some of that stuff, there's a button up here that looks like a thumb. Um, if you click on that to like and follow this page, and then if you engage with me, that's the thing that Facebook likes to see is engagement because they, they say that if somebody's engaging, they want that content and then they'll serve it to you when I make it. Um, and you can engage by saying something or you can engage by giving me, like over here, one of these little, where's my finger? <laughs> these little thumbs up or hearts on the sides, or, I mean, you can do it however you want, but that engagement is how Facebook gauges whether <clears throat> they should serve you my content or not. Okay, we're gonna keep rolling just a little bit more, and then we'll finish this Christmas one off. OK, 
Okay, let's say that that's good enough. And then I'm going to straighten all my little These are flipped around funny. Cur wrapping paper wants to curl. So I don't know, maybe there's a way that you can straighten it out before you use it. Okay, so then what I would do at this point is, um, you know, whatever you want to cover it with, if you wanted it to be kind of a natural, ooh, this is what I like. Something like this. And then we could do a little band of this in the center, or we could go back to this red ribbon. That would be super cute. What do you guys think? Your paper is thin. My wrapping paper is thin too. Yeah, and I just grabbed the one that was on the top. Okay, let's just use this one. And let's get some twine, and we're going to do the same method where we just glue it to the sides. Or no, let's do it at one of these little eye hooks, because um, then I can show you how you do that. Now all you're going to do is stick it in, and they can be silver, gold, big, small. I have a huge variety. I just used what was in our toolbox out in the garage last year. I used all of them that we had. I'm just going to twist that in there. Easy peasy. Let's put the red ribbon on. And then you could use just plain twine. You could use some of that butcher's um, twine that's uh, black and white. That would be super cute. I don't have that out right now. So we'll just use some twine. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be long enough, probably. And then all I did was just threaded it through here and did you know, a square knot here, or whatever you call that at the end. And this would be super cute with some black buttons or something on it. Um, so that is a wrapping paper tassel ornament. The one last thing I wanted to show you was last year, um, we had a lot of wind here in Georgia, and um, our yard is filled with pine trees. And you know, you can make a tassel out of just about anything. So I just grabbed a whole bunch of pine needles that were fresh, and I tapped them to get them all about the same height so that their those little ends were all about the same height. And then I just wrapped twine around them, and I made these two I made more than these, I just don't know where they are. Little tassels using the pine needles. And these are from last year and they dried out nice. You could add a little glitter if you wanted. Um, so just think outside of the box because there's lots of different things that you can make tassels out of. And let's see, are there any questions? Did you guys like these, um, this project? So this was the original from last year. Then here's one with lace. Then here's one that I made over the summer where I put these cute little buttons on them. Um, here's another one that has the burlap and lace around the tummy. Here's one that I made that had green burlap and black and white ribbon. These two are both made with that polka dot Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. And then our last one is the one that we made today that still has glue strings on it that I need to pull off. Um, and it has this method of attaching a um, hook to it rather than the eye hook in the top. 
So I hope you guys liked these ideas. Oh, and then we made this one. And um, if you did, feel free to sprinkle. If you want to see more, be sure to like and follow this page, DIY Dreaming. Um, and to engage, like all those little hearts coming up. Where's my finger? I love to see those. That's one way you can engage. Another way you can engage is just by, you could make a garland with them, Penny. That's brilliant. Yes, totally. Where did I find the cork? Okay, well, we did not drink all these. I have at least 100 of these champagne cork ones. We did not drink 100 bottles of champagne. What, what I did is I found these at my Goodwill. And then I found them once when I was in Boise at Savers Thrift Store. Um, but you can buy these at a craft store. They're a little more expensive when you buy them at a craft store. Or you could go to a restaurant or a bar and ask them if they have champagne corks they'd be willing to give you. So you can use this or you can use wine corks. All the same stuff. I've, I've purchased wine corks at thrift stores. I've drank wine and saved my wine corks that way. And um, you can buy them at, at um, craft stores also. Or you can use these little wood sticks from Dollar Tree as your center. Let's see. You just sent, you sent out a Facebook request for wine corks. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, and Amazon. You can order anything on Amazon. Seriously, absolutely anything. Um, so you could get sheet music there if you can't find it. Um, you could get uh, champagne corks, wine corks, all kinds of different things there. Let's see, are there any other questions? This is totally my kind of craft, and i tell you why. Okay, it meets all of the criteria that I have for a good craft here at DIY Dreaming. First of all, it's fun. It's quick. Oh my word. I have a short attention span and I don't like, that's why I don't really love painting big pieces of furniture because I need my craft project to be started and finished no more than 30 minutes, <laughs> seriously. Um, so it's quick. Um, you don't have to have any artistic abilities or even crafting skills to do this. Um, it's super affordable. I love those kind of crafts. It's a little bit unusual to use vintage sheet music and corks to make tassels that become ornaments. Um, and what's the last thing? Oh, I think that's pretty much it. But I mean, I love things that are a little bit outside of the box, um, that are super affordable. I love repurposing things that might just go into a landfill, like all this old music, um, these corks. Um, I love, I love just putting a new spin on something old. So these are perfect for um, the kind of thing that I like to do here at DIY Dreaming. Anyways, well, I'm going to say goodbye now. I will get pictures of all of these and I'll put them, um, which way am I going? I'll put them here in the comments later tonight. And also I will um, just put them on DIY Dreaming. Feel free to sprinkle this um, to your social media if you would like to, if you have friends that like this kind of stuff or friends that would like to be able to catch the Christ and crafting thing I do every Sunday. And if you have any questions, let me know that too. Alrighty, have a great rest of your day and thanks for watching. I appreciate you.